welcome to green 9 biology bagana gan kara barnoto pas biology pas gadi uttecha so arame answer to in the is a in the new question tan gadi question uma tumura bokona bokona la mafara am biology je bokana to ko to konde ifna tan afu me kama kal bi nur do fa ira fa idema icha share ki subscribe ko kande kande icha asma baru so kanye ta fu so answer to end of unit 2 question number 1 why have microscope been so important in developing our understanding of cells look at the answer without microscope we could not see any cells except but x b write a set of instruction that could be handed out by the microscope to make sure that students use it properly look at the answer look for the students producing clear instructions that show evidence of their own experience on using microscope where possible make sure they are all the main issues of microscope safety and use okay the second question what is a cell theory and who were the first scientists to have idea look at the answer the cell theory states that cells are the base unit of the basic unit of life in 1839 Matthias Sheldon and Theodor Schoen first introduced the cell theory okay number five number three Mega fi se defa la la ko se defa ha ji tu kan hala lo chuda what happen in the cytoplasm of the cell the answer is the cytoplasm contains all other organelles of the cell and it is where most of chemical reaction of life takes place okay number 4 what are enzymes and why are they so vital in the cell? The answer is enzymes are proteins which control the rate of reaction in the cell, usually speeding up, speeding them up. They allow all the different chemical reactions in a cell to take place in a controlled way. Okay, the next question is why are organelles important? in the structure of cell look at the answer to contain the enzyme and the chemical needed to carry out a specific function within the cell okay gafi torpafa ha tisenu make a table to show the similarity and difference in structure between an specialized animal cell and an specialized plant cell look at the answer in the table Look, this is a table to refer with a differentiated structure. Look at in animal cell, there is nucleus and also in plant cell there is a nucleus. In cell, in in animal cell there is cell membrane and there is also there is cell membrane. In plant, in animal cell there is cytoplasm and also in plant there is cytoplasm. In the animal cell there is ribosome, mitochondria and endoplasmic reticula. So does in plant cell in the case of plants there is cell wall but in the animals no in the plants there is permanent vacuum vacuum or large vacuum but in the case of animal no in the plants there is chloroplast but in the animals no okay number eight how is sperm cell specialized for its role in reproduction? A. As you look at the answer. Sperm have long tails containing muscle-like muscle proteins so they can swim towards the egg. Middle section of sperm is full of the mitochondria which provides energy for the cell to work. They have special sacs known as the acrosome which store digestive enzyme which store digestive enzyme 
and also and also look the sperm has large nucleus containing the genetic material information to pass on the offspring. Sperm have much smaller than eggs, but millions of them are produced daily. Okay, number nine. Read the following information about Cly Clymodomus and then answer the question below. Clymodomus is a single celled organism that lives under water. It has an eye spot that is sensitive to light and it can move itself about. In fact, it swims toward the light using long flagella. It has a large chloroplast and uses a light to photosynthesize. And it stores any excess food as starch. When it is mature and has been a plenty of light, it will reproduce by splitting into two. Okay, look at the answer. A. Clymodomus is a living organism. What feature of Clymodomus in the description show you this is true? The answer. It is a sensitive, it moves, it reproduces, and it needs food. B. For Many years, scientists for many years scientists were not sure whether to classify Clymodomus as, as an animal or a plant. Now it is put in a separate group altogether. I. What feature suggests that Clymodomus is an animal cell? Answer. It moves its whole body about. It is sensitive to light and moves away from light. It reproduces by splitting into two. Okay, number two. What feature suggests that Clymodomonas is a plant cell? Look at the answer. It has a chloroplast which it photosynthesizes. It store excess food at starch. Any other points you think are valid? Okay. Number 10. Why do cells become specialized in the human body? Answer. To carry out a specific function as part of tissue or organ. B. Choose uh, different types of cells and explain how they are adapted for the job they do in your body. Look at the answer carefully, please. Whichever type of cells students choose, they should describe carefully and well, highlighting any special feature which make the cell adapted for the job. Look, see, describe the different level of organization in humans, in human body from cell to the whole body. Look, cell join together forming tissue, tissue join together forming organ, organ join together forming organ system, organ system combined together forming one organism or whole organism. Okay, number 11. Explain using the diagram what would happen if you set up an experiment with a partially permeable bag containing strong sugar solution in a beaker full of poor water. Look at the answer. This is the answer for this and also this is a figure this is a figure and also there is a definition of it sugar cannot move out of the partially permeable bag along with its concentration gradient water moves into partially permeable bag along the concentration gradient by osmosis the bag becomes full that means water in, in, in the bag B. Explain using a diagram 
what have happened if you set up an experiment using partially permeable bag containing pool water in a beaker containing strong sugar solution? So answer. This is a concentrated sugar solution. Look. Glass tubing. Confaki that you are marula. Asetia hulal. Is a hana canatachu. Umaratifa finally retagatu. No horror by you. Face out much bujani. So look as a definition. Sugar cannot move into the partially permeable bag along a concentration gradient. Water moves out of the partially permeable bag into along with the concentration gradient by osmosis. The bag impity becomes phylaxic. Okay, number 12. Animals which live in fresh water have a constant problem with the air water balance. The single celled organism called an amoeba has a special vacuum in every cell. It fills with water and then moves to the outside of the cell and the breast. A new vacuum starts forming straight away. Explains in terms of osmosis why the amoeba needs, the amoeba needs one of these vacuums. Look at the answer. The content of the cell will have a higher concentration of solute than the surrounding water. The cell membrane of the amoeba acts as partially permeable membrane. As a result, water continue moves into the cell by osmosis. If the amoeba did not have a, contra a, a, a contractile vacuum and remove this water regularly, the cell would swell up and breast, killing the organism. Okay, this is the end of our today's lesson. Until next lesson, goodbye.